Root Hog Reserve, Crown Land Bridal Track, 14 k's from Hill End, 53 k's from Bathurst. That there is a little water crossing from the bridle track onto the root hog track. Isn't that pretty? G'day everybody, Steve from Mud Ducks Touring Australia with another spotlight on campgrounds people behind me, it's all going on. Today, we're at the Root Hog Crossing on the Bridal Track. Well, actually we're on the Root Hog Track now. Came off the Bridal Track. We crossed that river crossing that you just saw to come and have a look at this campground. So, I will give you a look at it. So from that crossing, if you're continuing this way, you would be heading up the Root Hog track, which is not what we're doing today. We're continuing along the bridal track. But as you can see, there is pit loose with some water, which I dare say would not be potable. So bring your own, but you've got a beautiful river just there. Get some water out of that. So in my traditional fashion, as I've come out of the river, I turn left and I head down this way. Because I like to always turn left when I go for these walks, I don't know why, but that's what I do. Anyhow, as you can see, it's straightforward four-wheel driving, and it gives you a pretty beach alongside the river. So, you've got to like that. How nice does that look? And as we go around this way, we come to the first of the camping bits. So this side of that tree, you could set up a camp. And the other side, we can see these guys camp that are trying not to disturb as usual guys. Is another great spot. It's all sandy in here. So uh, you want to make sure your Forby's uh, functioning in four-wheel drive. And you've got some more camping just here. We've still got some grass and stuff. Now I don't know how far down this way you can camp, so I'll keep walking, show you what I can. I'm in a sandy track. This would be, in my opinion, You'd want to be with your tyres down a bit and uh, in four wheel drive, obviously, to get through here. But it's a nice little sandy track. Over there is this river bank where it'd be difficult. But along this track here, it'd be okay. And I'm walking along here because apart from the fact it's obviously a track, it looks like there'd be a bit more camping up here. Now I'm filming this on a Saturday, so it's not overly crowded yet, but it might be later this afternoon. Because not everybody gets Friday night to come camping unless 
They're away specially. All their relatives are local. Like if you lived in Bathurst, to come here is only 55, 60 k's. So you do that in the afternoon. You come here and camp. So as I progress along this track, there's definitely more nice sandy camping up here. So as I get here, I'll tell you what I know, which isn't much. What can you do here? Well, what you can do here is enjoy the bush, relax, camp, just be happy. You can swim, you can fish in the river. I think at this end, it's the McAllister River and at the further back, it was the Turon River. They join up, but here's a nice grassy camp with fire pit. So it's pretty good. Sadly, there's a little bit of rubbish where somebody's packet of smokes didn't burn in the campfire. But that's not a bad spot. And check out the view over that water. How nice is that? But from there, you continue along this sandy track, and we should find another one. So, this one here, it'd be fairly tight, but enough room for a group with their car, a couple, whatever, single. And up this side, similar amount of space. I don't see any fire pits here, but that doesn't mean there isn't any. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, looking down there, it's just all sand. So I'm gonna suggest you do your own thing and come and have a look for that. But it gives you an idea of what we're dealing with here. It's very pleasant. It's a beautiful spot, actually. I camped a couple of campgrounds over last night. I wouldn't have minded coming here. But there is a reason I didn't. And that would have been expressed in a different spotlight on campgrounds. Now, walking back, so there's not a lot of point in me filming the walk back to where I started. So I'll cut here and I'll be back for the next section. Oh, hang on, before I do that, let's be serious. What can come here? Four wheel drive only. If you come via the bridal track, you're only supposed to be in a four wheel drive. And if you come via the root hog track, you're only supposed to be in a four wheel drive. So it's four wheel drive only. Trailers on the bridal track are not permitted. Now, I might have mentioned it before, and I'll say it again, I may have seen trailers on the bridal track, but the signs of the chin say no trailers. So keep that in mind. So it's four wheel drive only. Obviously motor bikes fall into that category. Uh, tents and swags. Roof toppers are okay too, obviously. So there's that. And anyway, mention that part so I'll stop this restart again when I'm on the other part of the track all of the campground really I'll see you there okay now from the amenities I'm back if you were to go past those and go left from the amenities or straight past from the way we came in you follow another set of wheel tracks around to here where it is obviously more camping and I will try not to disturb the campers up here. Now just past that bit there we could camp quite easily but uh, up here looks like a bigger section 
Now, like I said, I won't disturb these guys, but you've got a couple of sites with a bit of room here. So you've got a couple of fire pits, nice grassy, relatively flat area. These guys have got a few vehicles in here so you can get a decent sized group in. And if you follow these wheel tracks further up, it looks like there should be some more of the same. So that's a pretty well set up camp there. And it expands right out to here before the grass sort of picks up and hide again. Now, if you're a guy with 35s and lockers and stuff, there's a few play tracks. There was a play track at the other end as well, near where those other couple of guys were camped. So you can have a bit of a play. But uh, if you're like me and just touring and checking places yet, then maybe not. Anyhow, off the main track here's another pair of wheel tracks that run down here. So this will get me close to the river again. So I'll show you this, but there's definitely a room to camp here. So this wouldn't be a bad one. Good one if you're for solar and stuff. It's out in the open and a, uh, a nice little, very easy little walk actually down to the river. If you have a look at that, that's your river view. That's pretty damn nice, isn't it? Now, again, I can follow some more wheel tracks up here and take you considerably further up. There's a camp set up up there where it looks like they've left for the day. Their gear's there, but their car isn't. So, so there's quite a few. I'm just not 100% sure what to tell you about, like this is all crown land. So the camping is free, self-serve basically. You saw there's one amenities facility there. Take your rubbish out, so there's no bins provided anywhere. So please take your rubbish out guys and try to ensure that you leave the campsite better than you found it if you can. If not, at least it's good. So yeah, another pair of wheel tracks down here into another camping spot. Now I'm not going to walk much further than this. I think this will give you a good idea of what it's like in here. But uh, this is where people have just driven over this grass enough to flatten it out. Uh, this is another good little grassy slash sandy spot. Sadly, it's a bit of rubbish in here. Uh, well, it's a bit unfortunate. When surely I brought that bottle in. But there's the view they get. That's nice. And I'll walk up to this next bit and then I'll head back. But uh, this is the camp I could see from a distance, which is also sandy and grassy. So you shouldn't have any problem with pegs. 
is just nice. So as previously stated, swimming, fishing, generally that kind of stuff around here. It's what people you do. And uh, that's what you'll, you'll get as a reward for coming down this far. Uh, there may be a little bit more further down, but I think you get the gist of what it's like, guys. So I won't take you down there and bore you with more of what we've basically just seen. I'll just start heading back. So I'll head back and end it, but I'll end it while I'm walking back, guys. So, because you've already seen this bit. So, I hope you found this video of use. If you did, put a like on it. Really helps the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, click the notification bell. You'll know when a new video comes out. To the old hands, as always, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch one of my clips. Really do appreciate the ongoing support, guys. Speaking of support, if you'd like to support the channel, you can cruise over to the website, mudduckstouringaustralia.com. You can get a little bit of limited merch, more merch coming, so come back and check it out. Get a story of how Cara and I got involved in doing all this YouTube stuff and four-wheel driving in general. But if you don't wish to do that, that's fine. You can also su support me by becoming a channel member. Just hit the join button. For a small fee, you'll support the channel and you get early access to the clips. Like as soon as they're uploaded, uh, you'll know and you'll get access to watch them straight away. But if you don't want to do that, that's okay, don't do that. The clips will still be out every weekend as they have been. And um, you can watch them for free on YouTube anyway. So that's about all I can tell you on that. Hey anyway, guys, if I'm looking away from the camera, I'm just watching me step. I guess you understand. So thanks for watching. Be good to each other. Just get out there, enjoy the bush. And from Steve and Kaz at Mud Ducks Touring Australia, cheers for now. All the best, we'll see you next time.